Right, so welcome back to another little uh, River Pikey um, lockdown video. Again, we're on boats, uh, and it's probably the last one on boats today. Um, I'm just going to have a quick look round. Well, I'll say quick look, I'll probably babble on. But a quick look round the boat and just uh, try and give you some tips on things that I've found that make the life a little bit easier. Uh, stuff that you might need to have on your boat, uh, that kind of thing. So, on the front of my boat, what I've got is a little. Uh, mounting point where I can put a clip on and a bit of, bit of rope or string uh, and basically what this one does is so that's clips to the, to the hook and then what you can do is let's say you, you're fishing and you want to anchor up near uh, a certain spot you can basically um, use these you know these like monkey grip kind of Tools and you can basically what we got into something, anything, a tree branch or something, and that's going to hold you. And just a, a bit of nylon, little uh, thin rope like that, that's going to hold you in position. Uh, it makes it quick and easy. Um, so something like that. If you get into a bit of trouble, you know you can quickly hook onto a tree and stop you from drifting downstream, kind of thing, while you sort your engine out, that kind of stuff. Um, really easy to do. Uh, also, if you, you know, it helps you when you're, you're tying up. But I've actually got um, a little bit of rope, nice and tidy. Again, on a little clip, fastened to the front, and uh, that's there all the time if I need it. If I want to tie up it on uh, on a mooring, for example, I want to tie up, I want to tie up to a tree. Firmly, it's a bit stronger rope. But that's the one that I actually attach to the front of the boat and pull the boat in with. Uh, so you want it probably uh, at least. At least one and a half times length of your boat, I'd say. Um, so that's probably about a 20 foot piece. Um, and yeah, and they're just clipped on there. They're always at the front. So I can quickly grab them. Uh, if Neil's on the boat or my partner, he can, um, he can quickly. When I said partner, I didn't mean I've got a boyfriend. <laughs> when he's on the boat, uh, he can quickly grab it and um, put two or three in that. So. Um, if you've got an electric uh, front mounted trolley motor, then um, especially if you've got the, the new GPS versions with the spot lock on, um, this one doesn't, but the Haswing GPS does have spot lock, then instead of using this, you can use the spot lock on that, which is going to hold you in position. Um, but like I say, that's going to cost you less than a tenner to get it from Wilco's or whatever, uh, and that's going to cost you 700 quid. So, two different versions of anchoring. Um, just quickly anchoring and obviously there's another version which I don't have in my boat uh, I only use it now and again and that's a basically a, a proper anchor lump of weight, a mud weight or something uh, on a piece of rope with a bit of chain on the end of it um, and you can drop that down, tie it off so if you're going to do that it's only to have some little um, what the cleats or whatever so you can tie off your, your anchor but I, I don't usually use that um, possibly sometimes if I switch to dead bait in winter uh, which is rare so um, and if I do that, I've, ju I've just got a couple of them. Um, I haven't got proper weights, I've just got some uh, old weights from weightlifting or some um, uh, that kind of thing will do a job or I've got um, some bits of old uh, bearing from a, from some kit at work so we're throwing it away so I just use that, tie a bit of rope on it and lower down, lower down so that's kind of what I do. Um, I spoke about in previous ones, front and rear mounted fish finders, so Neil can see quite a lot of detail and see what's happening. I've got the main screen that can show you a bit more, even more detail. And so so having two helps. I didn't show you in the previous videos, but um, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. Uh, so Neil's is mounted to a, a bracket. So we've, we've got a Scotty mount on there, Scotty rod holder. And you can buy these mounts uh, on various kayak websites, basically. Um, uh, bracket like that and basically when when Neil fishes uh, we bring this along slips in and his fish round is working straight away uh, when Neil's not in I take that out so that obviously that fish round is gone and um, the bracket's gone and what I'll be using instead is I've got Scotty Rod holder and I wanted to you can use that for, a, for a bra that bracket, same thing for a Scotty Rod holder. So, got dual uses of that one. Um, and while we're on, while we're on rod holders, 
there's, you know, there's ram mounts for um, well, I, I'm using Scotties because Scotties already came on this. Scotty holders, Scotty mounts, um, and basically, uh, I'm, these keep staying in the boat. If ever I need them, I can just chuck them in and let's say I'm bait fishing or something. Easy to stick on the side and, and hold your hold your rod. Um, yeah, so that's Neil's slots in there, simple as that. So, like I say, going back to when you're launching the boat, that's as quick as it is. The other end connects to his battery and he's done. That's him connected, all done. Sticks his boat back on there uh, and that's him ready to fish. Really easy, really quick and simple. Um, you've seen the rod holders. Um, we've also got, again, so you've got fancy technology showing you some information. You found a, 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 a shoulder fish or a, a bit of structure you want to fish around. So um, you, you don't want to always be over the top of it, you might want to be fishing further away. So you can use a, a simple marker like this, so that's a buoyant float uh, with, a, with a lump of lead on it. And you just drop that into the water, that's going to unravel on itself. Can I do it? No. Not that. Basically it does that, unravels itself, and then that's going to float in the water and give you a visual aid so you know that roughly in that area is where those fish were or where that structure was. Um, we don't always use that. Um, but it does come in handy sometimes, and at the end of the day, something you just keep on the boat. Keep it there if you need it. Um, you've seen the swivel seats for comfort. You don't have to get swivel seats. You can sit on the, the metals if you want. Metal's cold. Uh, in winter, your ass is going to be freezing. So, um, comfort seats, but there's always cheaper versions. These are going to cost you like 50, 60 quid for that, for that, for that sort of seat, so buy two, 100 quid if you're lucky. Uh, I picked them up pretty cheap, I think. Um, uh, you were suddenly selling something somewhere on eBay. Picked them up cheap, I thought I thought I'd another piker actually. Um, and uh, if I've got another boat, we've not been using these, so uh, I got them cheap. But uh, you can pick up boats for 25, uh, sorry, not boats, pick up seats for 25 quid uh, with a little bit of padding on them, plastic ones. But these are a little bit better, but well, comfort. Uh, you're spending long days out, comfort. Good. Um, some lads don't even have any seat sinkers. Um, they're stood up low fishing all the time, so it's up to you. So my, my, net's in, my, my net is actually in the car at the moment, but I've got one of these floats on it. Bit of, poly, bit of uh, polystyrene in a Velcro case, and basically our landing net handle goes in through there. You've seen them before, and it saves you. You know, you're fishing on a boat, things go over the side, uh, and it saves your net from sinking. So we've we've done that before. We've lost nets overboard, and. Uh, can ruin your days you've not got a net. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's handy and it does float. Check it floats first, but my net does, so that's one. So that's always important with me. You know, like I say, my landing net is actually in the boat normally, but all important bit. So, because I'm, what you'll, what, uh, get back on screen. So what this is, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. So, four pint milk bottle, plastic, and if you look closely, how I've done it, you kind of just cut off there, this point, and what you've got, when it stops being folded in there, so some boats are flat bottomed, yeah, uh, boats are great for floating on water because they don't soak water in, but actually when you're on water and it's raining, they start to fill up the water. So a flat bottom boat, and you've now got a quick scoop that weighs nothing, didn't cost you anything, you sure you had a pint of four pint of milk. And you can basically just scoop water up, tip it over the side, scoop it. So in an emergency, if you're in a flash flash flood in the middle of the boat, it's bouncing it down. Try and under a bridge first out or under a tree out of way. But if you do get caught in it, or if you if your boat is leaking, if it's not watertight, uh, quick, easy, scoop it up, get it out, scoop it up. Uh, some boats have got inbuilt bilge pumps, um, or you might have a Build something you can not that's not inbuilt that you can just add to it, but cheap version is that. Um, but what it also is, the main purpose for it on my boat, because these days we are politically correct here on the River Piker channel, it's a gender neutral. Um, gender neutral, and basically what it is is when you want to piss, um, when you want a wee wee, there it goes, dead right. Tip it on the side, rinse it out, done. Because when you're on a boat, the last thing you should be doing is stood on the edge, 
peeing off the side because you lose your balance um, and you're in, especially if you're on your own, yeah, that's going to be dangerous, you're, you're falling in, the boat's going to be drifting away from you, so pee into a, into a milk carton like this, tip it over the side, simple as that, that just chucks it bottom, gets kicked under the seat, and when you're moving to pee, it's there ready for you, it's there all the time, it's there to go, so it's a two in one use, scoop water, pee in it, gender neutral, like I say, as, as I've shown, as I've demonstrated, as it is here, yeah, even females can point in that. Um, if you need a number two, um, just do it. <laughs> just do it. Um, yeah, so, um, other things. So, in the boat, first aid kit. The first aid kit is always in the boat. Because when you're in the boat, you're fishing, most of us are fishing for pike, uh, pike, sharp teeth, hooks. So I've got all the stuff in there, waterproof plasters, um, some stuff for treating, you know, antiseptics, that kind of stuff, um, alcohol wipes, that kind of thing, even even a bandage and stuff, but uh, get that, it's waterproof, sealed, it's in me, in me there, if ever I need it, um, it has happened, where I've, uh, I've got a, a bad cut, and it's, you know, it's, it's every day, it's, if, you, if, if you're bleeding really badly, um, and you've got to come home because you've got nothing to stop it bleeding, nothing to keep it clean, it's really efficient. But if you can have that with you, you never know what's going to happen. Not much. There's a kilo, there's that. Um, trailer board. Yep, so this is my trailer board. What you'll find if you've got a boat with it on a trailer is trailer boards are annoying. If you've got to keep putting them on and taking them off all the time, yeah. Because every time you launch it, you've got to take your trailer board off. Um, this one's been made by the guy who had it before me, uh, and basically it just hooks on the back. So it hooks around the back of the boat. I run the cable to the front, plug it into the car, and it's done. So it's actually quite an easy one. So it doesn't really bother me too much. Um, but if you've got one fixed to your trailer, you've got to run all along the bottom of your trailer, um, and then. You know, it's it's a ball like um, so making it easy. We're all about making things easier when we're fishing. You know, I've, I've seen people get to the boat launch and be there an hour sorting the boat out. So uh, I'm done in five, six, seven minutes. So when I finish it in a day, that hooks on back, run the cable to the front, plug it in, and I'm done. Easy as that. No messes. Um, bit of foam so it's not banging around the boat. Two hooks. Uh, if you've got a trailer with a fixed. Um, trailer board, can we get a word? If you've got a trailer with a fixed trailer board, have a think about where we gone? My light. If I soak that underwater, it's just gonna get wet through. What you can get is uh, LED lights with um, waterproof housings. So look on eBay, uh, change your lights to a waterproof one and basically you can just launch your boat. Uh, your lights go underwater, they don't get wet. And back out you go. LEDs are a lot better as well because we've got to have spare bulbs for these bees because there's always a bulb going at some point. So, uh, again, all about making your, your boat quick and easy to launch and recover. So, you're going to want some kind of straps for your boat. So, I've got a blue cover that goes up with something, it's a waterproof cover. So, basically, when I finish, I take everything out of the boat, cover it up, um, and off we go. So, you want to strap it down, typical, you know, your normal style um, uh, ratchet straps, they'll do. Well, what I've got is these ones, and I picked this, this tip up off, or I should say Neil spotted it when we were fishing with uh, Craig Reed in, uh, in Spain, Extreme Adora Fishing, uh, and Craig has got these on his, on his basically, uh, you press this button, and then you let it out, clip it onto that side, pull it across to this side, and then what you do then is if you want to get your line, uh, get your strap back, press the button. It's basically like you know, like similar to your seatbelt design. Yeah. You know, like I say, when you've when you've got it there, when you've got it down, that when you've got it hooked up, you have got onto something. So you hook it onto something. You can. And we'll water ratchet for something because but then a little bit stiff. 
bit because I've been out, not been using them for a while. But basically, flat lift it up and then you ratchet. It. That's just that, and that tightens up. And like I say, that bit across your boat from one one side of your trailer to the other. And um, I say when you want, when you come to put it away, you've not got loads and loads of stuff about. Just Easy. Probably not the best demonstration there, <laughs> but uh, trust me, it's easier than that. Yeah, but yeah, really good. Um, again, pick them up off, off eBay, ratchet um, straps. Um, so I've got two of those. Uh, my blue cover, there's already some hooks on my trailer, so my blue cover, blue cover with it, a bungee, and the hook, they just hook straight underneath the hooks, and it holds it tight with the two straps on top. Uh, my boat's not going anywhere, so it's a light boat. My boat's not going anywhere. So I'm mounting my fish finder. I've got the bracket here, so another Scotty mount. So I've got a Scotty mount on the on the side of my seat, rather than drilling through the hole in my boat. And it runs along the on the runs along the bottom, and then an arm an angle that comes up. You get, again, you can find these on various kayak shops. Uh, Scotty mounts. Um, and you've got a, a flat plate there. It's got loads of different holes drilled into it, which then fits to the the actual hummingbird bracket. Um, and similarly, Neil's done exactly the same on the front. The same Scotty mount with the arm on a bit of an angle this time onto a, a flat mount. And he's got he can swivel that round to how he wants it fed. So a little bit of an idea on how, how to mount your stuff. Yeah, as I've just showed you just a little different um Scotty mount that, that we use that's just helped us rig our our boats up, our fish finders up so that they uh to suit what we want. Um we're not you can see what the one thing with both of them we do they don't, they don't, they're not higher than the, the top of the boat, if you know what I mean. Where's my hand gone? There. They're not sticking up above the boat, they're, they're kind of flush, if you know what I mean. And that's one thing that me and Neil both want, is it's not trying to limit it being in his way. We've only got a small boat, so we didn't want it actually to be in the way, so. Right, so, believe me now to tidy up, um, put me, take me bits and bobs back out of my boat again. Um, well, hopefully that's just showing you a few little things that I do. Like I said, there's other, other, other ways of doing things. Uh, some of the things that's made my life a little bit easier. Um, and speed up the whole process of um, fishing from a boat, launching a boat, all that kind of stuff. So um, I'm not going to do a launching video and all that kind of thing because it's been done before. But um, basically, make things like making things easy for you. So like I said, these are great, great little beasts, little tools to have on, on your on your boat. Uh, don't forget in the back I have a toolbox that's got spare um, trailer bulbs, fuses for my fish finder, um, pliers, spanner, screwdriver for anything that happens um, and that's kind of it. So uh, yeah, so that's it, the boat video done. Uh, stay safe, uh, like and subscribe and uh, Try and think of some more uh, videos to keep you going while we're on this lockdown because I'm sure it's going to go on a little bit longer. So, 